Alright my friends, let's talk about the new version of Affinity 2.1 in this video. So if you are new here, I'm Joe Silva and I'd like to introduce you the new version with the new features, the improvements and what is changing here on the Affinity universe. So if it is your first time here my friend, leave it a like subscribe and let's get started all right let's talk about the version 2 in that case affinity 2.0 that has been released in the past year um, it comes with a lot of bugs and crashes perhaps if you follow me here in this channel you saw that even in some of my tutorials i got a lot of lags and things like that and for me as user all right i got very disappointed however by using the version 2.1 i got very happy because they have just improved all the bad side of the version 2.0 which is great and that being said of course we cannot expect to have a lot of new resources in the version 2.1 because the version 2.1 it was more for let's say fix the version 2.0 right that's why i want to bring here these topics which is going to be about the improvements guys about the improvements um there are a lot of them okay that is very relevant however just to give you this context affinity um share right now on the forum on their official forum and um, everything that they have been working on behind the let's say the screen the software there are people that are working very hard in order to improve the app all right so there are many things that has been improved and that's why i want to cover here the most relevant one that i made here in this topic here the first one that i want to talk about it is the brushes panel that they have just improve it on the desktop now let's talk about the raster brushes here on the pixel persona you can see the option that is now called show brushes names basically it's display now the name of your brushes that you have right here other thing that you need to understand as well is this if you select any brush that you have here and then you make some kind of changes on here on top Affinity will add this red line that represents that this is a temporary changes. If you make a change right here that you like most, you can right click in this brush and then you can go here in update brush, which means that you can save the options that we have changed here on top. Now it's possible to rename the layers by using the tab. Let's say that you have a document like this with a lot of layers. If you click twice, as you can see, you can give the name right here, right? I will type one. And then if I click tab, it's going to move to the bottom layer. Basically, if you hit tab, it's going to move always to the layer that it is below. In this new version, guys, Affinity is handling much better with the memory. What I mean about this? If you're working with a big project like this one, where I also create a lot of things using Affinity Designer, this project here, it's very heavy. And right now, Affinity, it is very uh, running better. You know, it's, it's really good. In the version 2.0, it was very, you notice the lag. And I made a work uh, job with a client of mine using Affinity 2.1, and it was very great, you know, uh, it didn't crash it, it was working and performing very well, and, you know, working with thousands and hundreds of layers, you know, and archboard, the result, it was incredible. And I have a good news for you if you would love to make illustrations just like I do here on Affinity. Now, Affinity in this new version has just improved a lot the Raster Persona performance. Basically, if you go here in the Raster Persona, and then you grab any kind of pencil and then you draw the result is going to be very very fluid and this is also happening with the ipad okay in this new version of affinity they have just improved the dashed uh, balancing let me show you this for example before you add the dashes and somehow it was not very good and now i think has just improved this and i will show you this using what the ipad pro my friend here here we go and let's say that you have here this rectangle rounded one and then you have the width if you add right now here as you can see let's say you do this perhaps the corners will not be correct if you click here in this icon make everything in the correct balancing right you will see that the corners now will match properly just like that because before if you live in this way it's not going to you know match properly it was very hard to have a very good uh, design but click on here you can have now this very awesome result now guys we have the auto select in the move tool and let me show you how that works so let's say that you are using the move tool 
and then we have here the auto select option as you can see but if you don't want to make this as auto select what's happening is that if you click nothing will be selected however if you go here and add as object what's gonna happen is that affinity will only select the inside the object right only the shapes and the images things like that however if you go to the groups you are going to select the groups all right this is the way that i like most however i like to leave it as default because the way that i use it is this if i click twice it's going to select the object directly if i click one time here it's going to select the group basically i like to leave this as default but this is a feature that now you can let's say keep your product more organized during the selection also for my fellows ipad users here you can do this as well using the move to if you go here auto select you're gonna have the object and the groups and then if you go here in objects and then click here it's going to select what the object if you go here in group what's gonna be selected the entire group so on the ipad you can find right here on the top now let's talk about the layers on the ipad pro guys this is very important because it's been a while since i haven't used the version 2.0 on ipad because i feel like it was not very stable it was not very defined and i didn't feel like it was ready for me to make tutorials or thing like that that's why it's been a while since i haven't created tutorials on the ipad pro but hopefully right now i think it seems to improve even more the ipad version in the general look and here on the layers panel the very first thing that you notice is that affinity now uh, i have added the blend modes to be here also there are some tricks that you can do for example if you want to a group the things you can paint here it's gonna group also uh, they have improved you know the thumbnails here before it was just the folder icon and now it is the thumbnail and the proper thumbnail which is good also we have here the swipe left menu as you can see all right and one thing that i really love here for example is this if i do any kind of action and then i hit with two fingers tap the undo button is gonna show right here the information because before before i was not not very happy because while i was doing and i hit and then shows this notification here this really made me very sick about when i was creating tutorials or videos time lapses always when i undo the message i would display here it was very annoying right now i think it has just improved this a lot by adding here which is not very disturbing to the eyes also let me show you another tricks that i think has added for example let's say that you change here the opacity of this layer just click here and then hit 50 if you click twice it's going to it's going to reset basically if you change here the blending mode to something like this and hit here twice which is the reset it's going to reset to the normal also just to show you this if you go to the navigator and leave the rotation free just like that okay um if you click twice on here it's going to reset the proper rotation zero also in this new version of 2.1 affinity released the style picker 2 on the ipad because on the previous version 2.0 it was not available right here okay and finally my friends let's talk about the vector fluid feel all right this is the new tool that i think has introduced in this new version 2.1 and let's see how this works first of all i want to show you here using ipad pro and then we can see on the desktop but take a look on this i will do this first of all adding some shapes because in order to use the vector fluid feel we need to have some shapes first i will add some maybe these shapes here there we go we have here uh, nice character well the vector fluid fill basically it is a kind of paint bucket that it is available on the illustrator but of course this works in a bit different way i want to show you how that works if you keep this uh, tool selected and then you have a color right here let's say that you grab this color right here and then you click it's going to to paint directly the layer that you are selecting basically this is the most core of it however there are some things that you can do as well with this tool for example let's say that you have here a text let's call this as me boss right now i will add a line in the middle of this text here as you can see and then what i will do it is to select this curve and also this text as you can see by using the vector fluid field what you can do let's say that you want to paint this over here 
here here and here and then you move right now the line what's happened is that the vector uh, fluid field it separates the shapes and the lines where you are adding that color basically so let's try one more time here just to show you let's say that i move this line in on here if i want to paint for example can be here on top let's make this in orange i can paint here 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 and here and also i can paint here below as you can see okay i can just paint here in different color as you can see it is uh, replacing right all the color that is being added and we are adding here and showing you that there are some options on top of it that i will explain more on the desktop because it's easier to uh, show you how that perform here we go um guys i have here these elements as you can see what i do it is this i will select the vector fluid field that you can find right here in this small icon so you're gonna select the vector fluid field and then you need to grab the color that you want to paint as you can see here i have these shapes okay and all of them they are separated if i go here and click to paint this one it's going to paint everything here but it's going to consider this as one single shape you can add this to be on top of that or to be inside of that layer this is how this perform basically if you keep everything selected just like that and then you go here and click is going to ignore the intersections basically this is working like the shape builder tool and then if you want to paint for example this you can hold click and hold and drag it's going to paint here this and this you can click or hold so this is the the thing that you need to be very aware when you are using this tool is that you need to make sure that the layers are selected and also they are intersecting why i tell you this let me show you this in practice if i add here two circles like this if i open this and also open this one here what's gonna happen if i fill this area if i go here in the vector fluid and then i keep this both shapes selected and then click here it's going to do this affinity will create a few based on this area here however if you try right now if we try to do this without overlapping let's say or like this there is a gap here if you use the vector fluid is that not gonna work all right just to let you know this because the vector fluid field only will work once the shapes are overlapping all right you need to make sure that they are you know hitting the line just like this here and you can use the wireframe view mode in order to confirm this let's say you do this it's good if you make this in this way it's not gonna work because it's only work when we have closed shapes together basically this is how this perform right or oh, here selecting both and then it's working so you need to make sure about this functionality in case that you feel like hey it's not working all right and the last thing let me show you this if you have a free hand drawing just like this one here if you keep everything selected just like that and use the vector fluid field the question is it's gonna work or not you need to make sure that the overlapping is happening all right for example this one here i cannot paint this area it's not allowing me to do this paint here because this area it is not accomplishing here and now my friend talk about what works okay uh, now it's working and remember that these layers are separated it's not applying uh just like you know filling this in a shape it's in a separate layer which is good because it makes it helps you to keep everything organized between lines and coloring well guys i believe that this covers pretty much about everything that i wanted to bring and let's talk about the conclusion right and i want to bring here my personal position all right this, this video is not being sponsored by affinity at all all right i wish that it could but it's not and let me tell you this affinity now is working to polish more the application all right affinity is working much more now to build the structure to be good in order to add new features to add tools that it is more complex and that's why i'm sure that they haven't decided to add new tools because it would make the app much more laggy or buggy i honestly i'll be honest with you i prefer 100 percent to have a 
a better performance app instead of having a very laggy or bug app like Adobe does. Basically, I quit from Adobe because the app becomes a very Frankenstein, a lot of tools, which is good. However, the performance it was very, very bad. That's why one of the reasons that I like to stay with Affinity is because they are always focusing in improvement and make the app very smooth and fluid for big works like I do. And if you ask me right now what I expect to see now in the next update, what I see, I believe that they will start to add and introduce more tools that's gonna make our job faster and easier, you know, and since they are now have a good performance, you know, on, on the app, which is very incredible. I'm very happy with that to see the app growing in this way here with good performance. Now I think that it's time for Affinity to bring new tools. And my friend, I have a very awesome news for you. I have a new masterclass course where I teach you everything about the new version of Affinity Designer. Basically, in this new course that I made for you, you're gonna have all the lessons necessary for you to understand how you can use Affinity, how you can build your graphic illustrations, how you can build everything very awesome here on Affinity Designer. In every single model, we go very detailed about each kind of functionality and how you can use the, the paint, how you can use the selection tools in order to make awesome techniques. Basically, I give you a lot of uh, tips that I you know, uh, build along of the years using Affinity Designer. So you're gonna learn a lot of fundamentals if you want to become illustrator, graphic designer, anything like that. And in addition to that, I will add very soon a new module that's gonna be about the use of Affinity Designer course, all right? This one here is gonna be included as well on the Affinity Masterclass, which means that if you get, you know, uh, the Masterclass, you also have the module about the iPad Pro, basically using the iPad. Yeah, my friend, I'm totally sure that after you get this course, you're gonna be able to learn everything about the new version of Affinity Designer. And if you want to get right now, go here below on the description below, click on the link available for you, and then get the discount that I made especially for you that is watching this video. And I, I wanna thank you so much because I've made this very special for you because I'm very excited to help you to use Affinity like a real pro. Well. That's it my friend and I hope to see you in the course and take care and bye bye. See ya.